السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ تمام احباب جماعت ہائے احمدیہ کی اطلاع کے لیے اعلان کیا جاتا ہے کہ آج مورخہ بائیس اپریل سن دو ہزار تین مجلس انتخاب خلافت کا اجلاس بصدارت محترم چودھری حمید اللہ صاحب منعقد ہوا اور اس کے بعد مکرم و محترم صاحب زادہ مرزا مسرور احمد صاحب سلام رب کو خلیفۃ المسیح منتخب کیا And we just sat down there. So everyone was very relieved when Hazrat Khalifat Al-Mutil Khabis was elected. And the feeling of sorrowness turned into happiness. That there was someone to lead us. And we could uh, follow new instructions from our new Khalifa. Because I was just near the Fadl Mosque. I had, uh, I had a few chances to meet Hazrat Khalifat Al-Masih. Hazrat Khalifat Al-Masih was very loving. And he seemed to be having a personal relationship with us whenever we met him. And that was unmatchable uh, with any other uh, relation. And I had a chance to meet him three times during my stay immediately after his Khilafat. And every time I felt so proud that he knew me. And I felt like I had a personal relationship with him. And I always used to introduce myself to him, but he seemed to be knowing me anyway. The 22nd of April 2003 marks the day that Hazrat Mirza Musroor Ahmed, may Allah be his helper, was chosen as the fifth Khalifa of the worldwide Ahmadiyya Muslim community. His Holiness has now served the Jamaat for over 20 years, preaching the true teachings of Islam and guiding us to the right path. There were some few names suggested and I did not know how I was elected and I was elected anyway. This documentary takes a look at some key aspects of the life of our beloved Imam. May Allah be his helper. Sahib Zada Mirza Musroor Ahmed was born on the 15th of September 1950 in Rawa, Pakistan. He is the great grandson of the Promised Messiah Lay Salam and the first child to be born in the Promised Messiah's family after their migration from Gadian to Rawa. After obtaining his bachelor's degree from Taleem ul Islam College in Rawa, Hazur earned his master's degree in agricultural economics later in his life. His interest of agriculture and botany will prove beneficial not only for the beautification of Rava and the development of the Gulshan Ahmed nursery, but also for the wheat experiment he would operate in Ghana during his work. Hazrat Mirza Musroor Ahmed had served the Ahmadiyya Muslim community from a young age. My question is, uh, growing up, what were some of the ways you were able to stay attached with Khilafat? You see, I only knew that I have to obey whatever the Salifah says and I have to love him. And I prayed for it even. Whenever I would see that today when I went to see my Khalifa, I feel some different attitude on his face for myself. Then I prayed to Allah Ta'ala that if I have done something wrong, Allah Ta'ala forgives me. And uh, if he has any doubt in his mind, for me, Allah Ta'ala removes it. His devotion to the Jamaat during his time as a Khadim is clearly demonstrated by many responsibilities he took on throughout his younger years. What's motivating uh, is Hazur as a Khadim. He was Muhtamim uh, Tajneet and also he served as Naib Sadr uh, within Khudam Malandia. And that itself is... Uh, I mean, as an exemplary and uh, very motivating aspect for us, uh, being in the National Amla to see how Hazur has served within the, uh, within the Majlis 
and also obviously uh, within the Jamaat. Uh, again, there is plenty of examples uh, which again attract us and uh, give us the energy to perform and to follow his footsteps. My life for work in the Tariqe the office was, uh, I think, they didn't need me because they thought that uh, we don't want somebody who is uh, qualified in this particular subject. I wrote directly to Sri Masih Salis and he marked that letter to Tariqe So Tariqe replied back to Sri Masih Salis that uh, we don't need this boy at present. As soon as Sri Salis received this letter, he said, you don't need him, but I need him. Huh? Then he asked me to go to, through Nusra Jahan to Africa, Ghana. He embraced me and that was the first ever experience I had by embracing any of the Khalifas. <laughs> so anyway, then I went to Ghana. He was posted in Salaga as the headmaster of a secular secondary school established by our community in 1971. This was not an easy task, since the Muslims of that area considered secular education as un-Islamic. Another challenge was the accommodation of the headmasters. The house was very small, two rooms, just four, three, four feet. On one side there was a kitchen, then toilet, bath. I stayed uh, alone for almost uh, one year without my family. As an agriculturist, Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmed initiated a program of tree planting on the school grounds to check if the roof of the classrooms could be damaged by the frequent windstorms and to check for erosion during rains. Not only did he gather valuable information from these trees, they also made the school more beautiful and bore fruits when in season. After his time in Salaga, Hazuru was transferred to a school in Esarkir to again serve as headmaster. There was no proper means of transport. There was only one government transport bus. We used to come from Tomale in the morning time and one in the evening time. Nobody knows at what time it will get broken down and uh, you are stranded on the way. तो सड़कों का निजाम अच्छा नहीं था रास्ते बड़े दुश्वार थे आने जाने के लिए ऐसी चीजें मुझे असर नहीं थी अब तो कंडीशंस बिल्कुल मुख्तलिफ हो चुकी हैं But perhaps his most well-known achievement in Ghana was the wheat experiment Along with two agriculturists based in Nigeria Hazrat prepared and submitted a study proposal to Hazrat Khalif al-Masih the 4th to check if wheat could be grown on Ghanaian soil Upon approval, Hazur initiated the project and he carefully studied the soil and weather patterns of various areas in Ghana. By the grace of Allah, through his hard work and prayers, he eventually succeeded in growing wheat. The wheat experiment was a monumental achievement, and to show appreciation for this remarkable achievement by the Jamaat, the Ghanaian Postal Service released a commemorative postage stamp with a picture of the Ghana wheat on it, to mark the Khilafat Centenary Jubilee year. As his time in Ghana as a Wakfirazi came to an end, Hazur returned to Pakistan, once again ready to serve the Jamaat however needed. In his place, Nazir Ayala and Amir Mokhami, in his Sardad Mirza Masoolah, he has made all of them. So my eyes on the side of the Ilham, that you are saying 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 that you are یہ ذکر خیر ہے ہی بہت پیارا اور میں ساری جماعت کو حضرت مرزا منصور احمد صاحب کے لیے دعا کی طرف توجہ دلاتا ہوں اور بعد میں مرزا منصور احمد صاحب کے متعلق بھی کہ اللہ تعالیٰ ان کو بھی صحیح جانشین بنائے تو اب ہماری جگہ بیٹھ جائے کا مضمون پوری طرح ان پر صادق آئے 
اور اللہ تعالیٰ ہمیشہ خود ان کی حفاظت فرمائے اور ان کی اعانت فرمائے On December 10th, 1997, Huzur was appointed as Nazir Ala, the principal director and local Amir Jamaat. He served in this office until God the Almighty made him Khalif al-Masih. During this time, he set a prime example for how one should obey their Khalifa with great devotion and love. Huzur Anwar Ayyadullah Ta'ala ke khutbaat humari dini tarbiyat ke liye ہر ہفتے ہمیں سننے کا موقع ملتا ہے اللہ تعالیٰ کا یہ بڑا احسان ہے کہ جماعت کو ایک ہاتھ پر کٹھا کیا ہوا ہے In 1999, a resolution was passed in the Provincial Assembly of Punjab for the name of Ravva to be changed as it appeared in the Quran. Ravva then officially became Janab Nagar and several signs were placed in prominent parts of Ravva with the new name. A few days later, a criminal complaint was filed accusing certain members of the community of erasing one of the signs. Though the complaint didn't mention any names, Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmed and other senior members were arrested. They were imprisoned for 11 days without bail, but were released without charge on the 10th of May 1999. I didn't know that I was going to go to the day of the day of the day of the day of the day. اللہ کے فضلوں کو ہی دیکھتا رہا گرمی کے دن تھے وہ اللہ تعالیٰ گرمی کو ٹھنڈ میں بدل دیتا تھا بڑے آرام سے جیل میں بیٹھے رہتے تھے اور سلاخوں کے پیچھے رہتے تھے کوئی فکر نہیں تھی کوئی فاقہ نہیں تھی دل میں یہ خیال تھا کہ جو دفعہ مجھ پہ لگی ہوئی ہے اس کی سزا یا عمر قید ہے یا پھانسی ہے ان دونوں میں سے کچھ تو ملنا ہے مجھے اس لیے میں نے کہا اللہ تعالیٰ سے مانگو اور اللہ تعالیٰ کو راضی کرنے کی کوشش کرو باقی جماعت کی خاطر اگر سزا ملنی ہے تو پھر یہ تو بڑی برکت کی بات ہے لیکن اللہ تعالیٰ کچھ اور ہی منظور تھا اللہ تعالیٰ نے دسویں میں گیارہویں بارہویں دن مجھے جیل سے باہر نکال دیا تو اس سے زیادہ میں کیا کہوں میں نے کوئی بڑا تیر مارا ہے میں نے تو کچھ بھی نہیں کیا وہاں ان دا پاسٹ ٹوینٹی ایئرز دی احمدی مسلم جماعت ہیز ریپڈلی گرون انڈر دا بلیسٹ ہینڈ آف حضرت مرزا مسرور احمد میں اللہ بی از ہیلپر لیٹ از ٹیک اے لک ایٹ جسٹ اے فیو مائل اسٹونس فرام دا پاسٹ ٹو ڈیکیڈس In 2004, Huzur, may Allah be his helper, launched the annual National Peace Symposium, with the objective being to spread harmony among and between all people, regardless of faith and background. The event also underlines our openness as a community and promotes integration based on mutual respect. Guests from a variety of backgrounds come to the event, from religious leaders to politicians. Furthermore, an International Peace Award was launched by Huzur in 2009, and prize to individuals or organizations who conduct extraordinary commitment and service to the cause of peace and humanity. Thus, it is clear teaching of Islam that the people of all nationalities and all races are equal. It is also made clear that all people should be granted equal rights without any discrimination or prejudice. This is the key and golden principle that lays the foundation for harmony between different groups and nations and for the establishment of peace. I've heard the phrase about religion is the cause of conflict, but it can also be the solution. And what I always get when I uh, meet the Ahmadiyya community is the fact that uh, love for all, hatred for none isn't just a form of words. It's not just a mantra. It actually comes from the heart and it means something. I think there's something that we can all learn from and so religion can also, and faith, importantly, can be that road to peace. Ashadu Allah ilaha illallahu wahdahu la sharika lahu By the grace of Allah, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community also celebrated a hundred years of Khilafat under Khilafat-e Khamasa in 2008. That same year, a special Jubilee Jalsa took place in the Excel Center on May the 27th, and the annual Jalsa Salana UK was expected to be attended by more people than ever. Today, we are from the Prophet of Allah, the Khilafat-e Ahmadiyya of the 100 years of the Khilafat-e اللہ تعالیٰ کے حضور اپنے شکر کے جذبات کے اظہار کے لیے یہاں بھی جمع ہوئے ہیں اور ایم ٹی اے کی وساطت سے 
دنیا کے تمام ممالک میں احمدی اس تقریب میں شامل ہیں ربنا لا تؤاخذنا ان نسينا حضور انسٹرکٹڈ دی جماعت میک ایٹ ا ہیبٹ ٹو ریسائٹ دی جوبلی پرایرز ہی پرسکرائبڈ ڈیلی تھرو دیز پرایرز وی بسیچ اللہ دی آلمائٹی ٹو کیپ ایم دیز اراؤنڈ دی ورلڈ سیف فرام ہارم اینڈ آسک دیٹ ہی گرانٹ اسلام احمدیت اٹس الٹیمیٹ وکٹری 28 مئی سن 2008 کا سارا دن ربوا کے باسیوں نے اپنے گھروں جماعتی دفاتر اور دیگر ادارہ جات کو سجانے میں صرف کیا اور دار الحجرت کو رنگ برنگی جھنڈیوں ہزاروں لاکھوں دیوں سے اس طرح سجایا کہ ہر در و دیوار جگمگ جگمگ کرنے لگے On this occasion, Ahmadis all around the world expressed their gratitude to Allah for the blessings of Khilafat by holding celebratory gatherings, giving gifts to neighbors and friends, and pledging allegiance to the Khalifa in the centenary pledge. In October 2005, the Jamaat reached a huge milestone when Hazur inaugurated Jamia Ahmadiyya, an institution of religious theological studies. Jamia Ahmadiyya, UK, about seven years ago, or eight years ago, was started in London, in a community. جو شروع میں تو بہت بڑی نظر آتی تھی اور آہستہ آہستہ جب تعداد بڑھنی شروع ہوئی طلبہ آنے شروع ہوئے کلاسیں زیادہ ہونی شروع ہوئیں تو جگہ چھوٹی نظر آنے لگی اس میں انتظامیہ نے بڑی محنت سے بڑی کوشش کر کے بہت ساری جگہوں کو قابل استعمال بنا کر وقتی طور پر اپنی ضرورت پوری کرنے کی کوشش کی لیکن کہاں تک اللہ تعالیٰ کے فضلوں کی جو بارش جماعت احمدیہ پر ہو رہی ہے اس کو سنبھالنے کے لیے اللہ تعالیٰ تو چاہتا تھا کہ وسط پیدا کرو اپنے دلوں میں بھی اپنی جگہوں میں بھی دا فرسٹ کیمپس واز لوکیٹڈ ان کالیز ووڈ بٹ از جامعہ کنٹینیو ٹو گرو دا اسپیس بیکیم لمیٹڈ اینڈ دا جماعت لکڈ فار نیو پراپرٹی سو In 2012, Hazur Ait Dala Dala bin Asrul Aziz inaugurated the newly built Jamia Ahmadiyya UK in Hazelmere, Surrey. Then Jamia, which was in London, was completely removed from here. And in the case of the low cost of Jamia, the Lord has given a better place with a better place and the peace of the world. تقریباً تیس ایکڑ اس کی زمین بھی ہے اور یہ سب جگہیں اسلام آباد سے دس سے بیس منٹ کے فاصلے پر ہیں اسلام آباد کے موجودہ منصوبے کے ساتھ ان تمام جگہوں کے خریدنے کی پلاننگ کوئی پہلے نہیں کی گئی تھی بلکہ یہ سب اللہ تعالیٰ کا منصوبہ تھا کہ یہ تمام جگہیں ایک علاقے میں قریب قریب اکٹھی ہوتی گئیں اور اللہ تعالیٰ نے مرکز کے ساتھ ساتھ ہی دوسری چیزیں بھی مہیا فرما فرما دیں جامعہ بھی قریب ہونا ضروری ہے مائی سوف اینڈ لائک مینی آف دا اسٹوڈنٹس آئی شوڈ سی دو اسٹوڈنٹس دیٹ کیم فرام اوورسیز ہو ڈڈ ناٹ ہیو دے ہومس ہیئر اینڈ لیفٹ دے ہومس لیفٹ دے فیملیز بہائنڈ حضرت خلیف المسیح became their fatherly figure. And on occasions, for example, when there was Eid and they were not able to go back home, um, they would spend some time in the company of Hazrat Khalifa al-Masih. And in this manner, Hazrat Khalifa al-Masih showered them with uh, many opportunities to be in his close proximity and showered them um, with his kindness and his compassion and uh, his love and affection. So throughout our seven years in Jamia, and of course, all missionaries, wherever they are around the world, they experience this. 
But being here within the United Kingdom, to have the physical presence of Hazrat Khalifa al Masih, we felt it even more, and it was a privilege and honor, and of course, a great responsibility upon us um, that we were being showered with so much kindness and love and affection by Hazrat Khalifa al Masih. So far, a substantial number of students have completed the seven year course and graduated as missionaries of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, serving humanity in various capacities all over the globe. In 2015, plans were made to redevelop the administrative block consisting of offices and function halls after being damaged by a large fire in September of 2015. On the day of the uh, event, uh, I was in my office and I saw the smoke coming. Um, I could not see uh, literally the mosque um, because there's a building and that covers it. Uh, from our angle, but I could see the smoke. Um, and then we got the news from um, friends and colleagues that this event has happened. Um, we tuned into the news channels, YouTube, wherever we could. And there were some videos floating around on social media. So got the news, um, felt really bad, disheartened. A new foundation stone was placed by Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmed on the 4th of March 2018 and now the reconstruction of the Bayt al-Fatu complex in its own right is a sign of Allah's grace and mercy on the Jamaat. Hazur opened this building on the 4th of March 2023, addressing in its halls on the same evening as the Peace Symposium, where dignitaries from all walks of life got a chance to listen to him. As a religious person, I firmly believe that this can only happen when mankind sets aside its selfish ways and materialistic desires and comes to recognize and worship the one God and strives to fulfill his rights and act upon his teachings. I pray that may Allah the Almighty grant people wisdom and may all mankind manifest those principles of principal objectives that the creator and master of this world, Allah the Almighty, desires from us to fulfill his rights and those of his creation. One of the promises that Allah Ta'ala makes regarding Khilafat is that Khilafat will, you know, turn the fear of the Muslim Ummah into peace and security. And I feel like one way in which this materializes is, you know, whenever a tragedy or a setback befalls the Jamaat, Hazur is a, you know, a guiding light and a beacon for us. And he re reassures us and gives us peace. Under the supervision of Hazur, may Allah be his helper. Plenty of schools and hospitals have been built in developing countries in an effort to provide education care and equal opportunities to all. Hazur also guided the International Association of MD Architects and Engineers in 2004. When the first IAAAE symposium took place, Hazrat Amir al mumineen directed the association towards providing humanitarian aid and logistical support to the poorest countries of the world. <laughs> Under his guidance, committees such as Water for Life, Alternate Energy, Architecture and Model Village were formed to carry out his aspirations of providing drinking water and renewable energy to remote parts of Africa, providing for the provision of MTA in AMD villages across Africa and aid in the design and construction of schools, hospitals, community centers and mosques to serve all, regardless of faith or culture. In his Friday sermon on the 12th of April 2019, Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmed indicated to the Jamaat that he would soon move to what would become the new Murkus of the Jamaat. I live near Masjid Fazil and when Hazur was still living in Masjid Fazil, um, I had the blessed opportunity to go to uh, almost all of the prayers regularly and pray behind Hazur in his presence. I saw Hazur when he came into the mosque, I saw Hazur when he walked out, he said salam every time he walked in and I could always feel his presence, his persona and just the blessing of Hazur being there was an excitement in itself. 
um, sometimes we couldn't pray inside the mosque. So we prayed in the adjacent hall, Mahmood hall. And there was this excitement when Hazur finished the prayer that uh, almost uh, as, as many people as possible tried to go out um, into the uh, area outside to see Hazur when he was coming back and to greet Hazur. And Hazur often would respond to the greetings and look at us. So that was an excitement in itself. <laughs> کہ اس لیے مسیر آب رحم اللہ تعالیٰ کا یہاں باقاعدہ مرکز بنانے کا ارادہ تھا بہرحال ہر کام کے لیے اللہ تعالیٰ نے ایک وقت مقرر فرمایا ہوا ہے اب اللہ تعالیٰ نے توفیق دی کہ اسلام آباد میں نئی تعمیر ہوئی ہے کچھ دفاتر بہتر سہولتوں کے ساتھ بنائے گئے ہیں باقاعدہ مسجد بنائی گئی ہے خلیفہ وقت کی رہائش بنائی گئی ہے اور باقی نے زندگی اور باقی نے زندگی اور کارکنوں کے لیے گھر بھی تعمیر ہوں گے اور اور بھی تعمیر ہوں گے This historic moment took place on the evening of Monday, 15th of April 2019, when Hazur departed from London to the new Jamaat headquarters in Tilford, Surrey, to the land that is fittingly named Islamabad. Um, I was emotional uh, that Hazur is moving, but knowing that the Jamaat has to expand, We knew that, uh, I knew that um, ultimately uh, Khilafat uh, moved out from Pakistan, came here, and now it's time for the next move. And obviously uh, it is emotional for a person, but I was able to build a personal connection by writing to Hazur regularly, uh, being able to come to Islamabad and praying behind Hazur, being able to do mulaqats in Islamabad, um, had that personal connection with Hazur. Now, with the new complex in Islamabad, in a small period of time we have seen a great transformation of what was once a makeshift residential facility into state-of-the-art offices and a residential complex. In this way, Allah Ta'ala has made Islamabad with the people of the Farnham in a big two-month-old Imarat in which the people of the Farnham are working on the press دو تین میل کے فاصلے پہ ہے یہ عمارت اور کچھ دفاتر بھی ہیں پھر خدا ولی احمدیا کو بھی ایک بڑی عمارت خریدنے کی توفیق مل گئی یہاں بٹ دین کووڈ ہے اینڈ دا ہوپس آف ڈیلی پریس بیہائنڈ ہزور فار نیولی ری لوکیٹ لوکلس و کوکلی ڈیشڈ دیز ریسٹرکشنز آف کورس مینٹ دیٹ وی ور ان ایبل ٹو گو سی آور خلیفہ وی گو ان ایبل ٹو گو ریڈ نماز بہائنڈ آور خلیفہ اینڈ آف کورس ڈیو بیکاز آف دس ریسٹرکشنز the meetings, the mulaqatin that Hazur had with Jamaat members, they stopped as well. And this, of course, was a very difficult time. But Hazur showed a lot of affection and guidance, provided a lot of guidance for the Jamaat during these difficult times. With uncertainty all over the world and communities struggling to agree on what to do, the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat had a guiding light. Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmed presented references from Islamic scholars of jurisprudence to show support for government measures and urged Ahmadis all over the world to cooperate with local authorities. Today, the war has been spread by the coronavirus. I also want to say about it. As the government and the government of the government are being announced, ان احتیاطی تدابیر پر ہمیں سب کو عمل کرنا چاہیے بعض ہوموپیتھی دوائیاں بہت شروع میں میں نے ہوموپیتھ سے مشورہ کر کے بتائی تھیں جو حفظ ماں تقدم کے طور پر بھی ہیں اور بعض علاج کے طور پر بھی ان کو استعمال کرنا چاہیے یہ ایک ممکنہ علاج ہے حضور آلسو کنٹینیو ٹو اسٹے کنیکٹ ٹو دا جماعت through the Friday sermons and by hosting virtual meetings and classes with AMDs all around the world. The immaculate and continuous spiritual guidance that Huzur has given us throughout this whole period and throughout his life. And I think that is one of the aspects of Khilafat that is truly, um, you know, you cannot find it anywhere else in no other uh, human being in no other institution, nowhere in the world will you find the spiritual guidance that Khilafat gives you, gives every individual of our Jamaat.
whatever I do in my life, I look to Hazur. I follow the teachings of Islam. I follow the teachings of Prophet Messiah, and I and Hazur is a a beacon for me. And in my hard times, I turn to God, and I feel like that. Whenever I am going through something, or whenever I need advice, the person that I look for look to is Hazur, because Hazur is that guidance for me. I would share, um, especially that uh, Hazur told one student, and he said that kabi khuda se bevafai na karna, that do not be disloyal to God Almighty. So whether you're a missionary, whether your awakfi zindagi, even whether you're just an ordinary Ahmadi, um, that's the basic thing that Hazur desires from us, that we have that connection with God Almighty and we're never disloyal to Him. By the grace of Allah, Hazrat Mirza Musroor Ahmed has been a beacon, not only for Ahmadi Muslims, but also for communities all around the world, with heads of states, parliamentarians and religious leaders continuing to seek his guidance and advice. یہ صرف جماعت احمدیہ ہے جو خلافت کے نظام کے تحت آج ساری دنیا میں اسلام کی ترقی اور تبلیغ کا کام کر رہی ہے اور جو ترقیات ہم نامساد حالات کے باوجود دیکھ رہے ہیں وہ اللہ تعالیٰ کی فعلی شہادت کا ثبوت ہی تو ہے اگر نہیں تو اور کیا ہے لیکن جس کی آنکھیں اندھی ہیں اس کو نظر نہیں آتا اور نہ آ سکتا ہے ان شاء اللہ تعالیٰ جماعت احمدیہ اللہ تعالیٰ کے وعدے کے مطابق اور آ حضرت صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کی پیشگوئی کے مطابق کہ خلافت علام حاج نوت جو حضرت مسیم علیہ الصلاۃ والسلام سے شروع ہوئی ہوگی تا قیامت چلے گی ہمیشہ قائم رہے گی اور کوئی دشمن اس کا بال بھی بکا نہیں کر سکتا بس ہمیں کوشش کرنی چاہیے کہ اپنے ایمانوں میں مزید جلا پیدا کریں اور خلافت احمدیت سے اپنے آپ کو جوڑے رکھیں اور اس کے قائم رکھنے کے لیے کسی قربانی سے بھی دریغ نہ کریں اللہ تعالیٰ ہم سب کو اس کی توفیق عطا فرمائے Under the leadership of Hazrat Amir al-Mu'mineen, our Jamaat has seen great advancements over the past 20 years, with just a few of those showcased in this documentary. May Allah continue to strengthen the hand of our beloved Imam in the years to come, and may Allah enable us to follow his example in all aspects of life. Amen. Zindabad, Zindabad, Khilafat, Ahmadiyya.